Hey, welcome back to Mac Break Studio. Mark and Steve here again, dynamic duo. And we're talking about Final Cut Pro 10 and something about roles today. Yes, I'm going to use roles in the timeline index to show you how to create quick alternate cuts of something you're working on. So alternate not, not auditions, but roles. Right. All right. Now, Let's see. I'm going to just jump right in here. Yeah. And uh, I decided to do a little PSA on uh, on vaping. You know, vaping is really popular with uh, with <laughs> with young people here, and, and I've got a bunch of what I call vapesters <laughs> smoking and what have you. And I just wanted to do a PSA, and maybe uh, I'll post a, the link to it at some point when okay. it's finished. Um, but right now, it's a perfect sixty. It's, it's exactly it's a one minute um, public PSA. service announcement. Okay. Right, public uh -huh. service announcement. Now. A lot of times you're gonna do a 60, but you wanna generate a 30 or a 15 or what have you. Right. Now, I could duplicate the timeline and then just create a 30, but I don't particularly like working like that. I like to work in the same timeline, especially with this, because I this is fairly straightforward. I, I'm cutting to voiceover, so okay. let me play a little bit of this. Smoking addiction comes in many flavors. Cloves leaves a subtle taste of clove leaves on your lips after inhaling. Yet another variety of cigarette, it's menthol. Okay, so you're just cutting to the voiceover. It's pretty straightforward, straight cuts. Uh -huh. Okay, So I want to make an adjustment, make, an, make a 30. I'm going to show you my workflow. So I'm going to select this shelf because I do all of my editing in a secondary storyline. It's on a timeline, yeah, a storyline, right? And it's connected to, to the video here. And what I'm going to do is press Command-C to copy, move the play back to the home, that very home, and then Command-V to paste. Okay. So now I've essentially created a duplicate version down here. Okay, now I would I now want to do is start cutting this, but I don't want to have the audio. I yeah. don't want to hear the you audio in the first both, one. Right. Now, here's what's interesting, and I'm, I'm going to put this out there, Mark, and I don't know if you've seen this or not, but I should be able to select this, then go over here, and then turn on soloing, right? Okay. What's interesting, it's um, silent. It's like soloing does not work for secondary storylines. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. I just, yeah, you can't I don't know if it's a anything. bug. So if you're out there, you guys want to test this and write, write back in the comments, let us yeah. know. But this is what I, so I have a better way anyway. I don't work, but okay. I have another way of working. It's so soloing and connected storyline, you don't hear the audio. Interesting. Okay. I don't know why. Anyway, that's so not the point of this. you can go through and you're going to select all those clips and disable no, them? No, I'm not going to okay. select. I could do that, but that's not what I want to do. You got a better um, way. I got a better way. All right. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go up to the modify menu and I'm going to do edit roles. Okay, I'm going to create a role and I'm going to create a dialogue sub role. This is going to be the, my 30 second voiceover. Okay. okay. So I'm going to create a sub role. I'm going to create, so this, uh, let's see, PSA 30 VO. Okay, so I've created a sub role called PSA 30 VO, mm -hmm. right? Turn. And I also want to create one for video because you'll see why in a little bit. So I'm going to go to video. I'm going to create a sub role, PSA 30 vid. Okay, click OK. So I've created two sub roles. Okay. Right now. So I'm going to open the timeline index, okay? And you'll see why in a moment. I'm going to select this shelf here, the shelf of this the second. The new one, that's the, the 30. One. That's the 30, right? That's the 30. Okay. And I'm going to go to the modify menu, and I'm going to go down, and I'm going to choose assign roles. Assign roles. Um, sorry, my mouse is a little squirrely this morning. And I'm going to choose that 30 sub role. So you're going to assign a role to the connected storyline. That's right. Okay. I'm assigning a role to the entire okay. connected storyline. And you know what's really cool about doing it this way? Every clip inside that secondary storyline gets that role assigned they to it. They get tagged also. They get tagged also. Wow, okay. So that's why this is that. way better than soloing. Yeah, yeah. Right. So now here's the thing. I want to work with I don't want to hear this. I, mean, you, I just want to turn off the other one. So notice it's turned off. So now I could work on just this voiceover without hearing now how, it. You didn't assign any to the 60. So how did you do that? How did you because, just turn it off? Because by default, it was already assigned dialogue. Because it's oh, audio. Okay, it, it so gets, you just disabled dialogue, right? Right, right. So it's by default, gets assigned okay, so dialogue. so you turned all the dialogue exactly. off. Got it. So in this case, I'm going to turn it off. So now I'm going to work. So let's say I'm just going to make this easy on myself. I'm going to just do a quick edit here. Flavors. So this thing, the cloves, and then geez, I'm going to go ahead and I know that I want to want a short. I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to pull... That, unless I'm going to select that. Here. You've got each of these sound bites yeah. already as separate clips, so you can just delete the entire yeah, clip. That's right. So what I'm doing is pulling out the sections that I I don't I know I don't want to use in the yeah, in, the, in, in, the the, in the thirty. So if I do a Shift Z. You can see it's getting shorter, and here it's at forty-seven seconds here. The bottom line is I'm going to keep editing this until this 
really becomes a, a 30 here. Okay. I'm not going to edit the whole thing, but I'm showing you my workflow. Right. I work on this until I get it cut right. to a 30, so I'll have a 30 here. Okay. Okay. Now, I'll do the this. Now I'll though. do the same thing. So, so with with the with the video, Command C, right? And actually, let's do it this way. You'll like this one. C, Command C, and Command. Let's see. Go to Command C. Copy them all. Move the playhead. Edit. Paste as connected clip. Right. And what that does is. Oh, I see what it's saying is it's because I have transitions. It's going to selected. It's, yeah. It's going to go That's ahead right. and create, create, create a bunch of connected clips here. And um, I'll go ahead and turn that into a storyline. And so now I have a storyline. By the, the way, video. you hit Command G to do that. Yeah, hit Command G. Mm -hmm. So I have a storyline. Okay. Storyline of essentially all my edits sans the transitions, which it said it couldn't do. Right, it removed I don't, them. don't really care because I'm going to now cut cut the pieces out that I want here. So before I do that. You want to turn off the other video? I, uh, I don't, well, I don't have to, but remember I created a sub role. Right. So I selected right. that. I go to the modify menu. And I'm going to go down to assign roles, video, sub role. So I'm now assigned the video sub role and I can then turn off the video. Not that you would see it anyway because it's literally sitting on top of it. But right. I could now work with just the video. So I can go here and I'm going to pull that out, pull that out. Maybe I want to take this and I'm going to trim this, move this this way. I'm going to tr essentially go here and, and, and do all I need to do to trim this thing trim this thing up. It's kind of cool because you can see your 60 in the context of your 30. That's that's exactly correct. I can see my 60 in the context mm -hmm. of my 30. This is just one way around because I want to see, I want to have access to all my clips yeah, from my 60. You might want to grab something, a clip that you took out of your 30 and you want to grab it right. from your 60 and put it back in. You don't have to go back and forth between timelines. Right. So the bottom line is I'm going to get a, I'm going to get a 30 represented by this storyline yeah. and I'm going to get a 30 represented by this voiceover. Yep. Right. So all I have to do now is when I'm ready to export, I just choose the roles. Choose the roles you want. Right. Each one, each one. Exactly. So at this point, I go, I'm going to go file and I'm going to choose, let's say share and I'm going to choose master file. And, and by the way, let me back up before I do this. I should point out, a lot of people don't know this, just because these are disabled, yeah, because you can't export. hear them, they still yep. export. Yep. Very, yep. Very, very, very important thing is people need to understand that the, just because they're disabled here in the... In the in the role editor in the role in the timeline index, yes. you still still hear them. So I'm going to go back to um, sharing the master file and uh, go into settings and uh, video and audio. They can do pro uh, prores here. And um, what I want to do is I want to choose kind of my role as how I want to set this out. You could do separate files, video separate files, audio separate. I like multi track QuickTime Movie because it will put the video and audio together that's okay. been tagged. So um, if I do separate, that means somebody else is going to have to bring it back into Final Cut and, them and together, put them yeah. back together again. That, yeah. that, I'm saving them a step by doing this. Yep. So I'm going to say multi-track QuickTime. And um, under video, I could say there's my 30. 30 or 60, which and under you dialogue, want. I want to say there's my PSA 30, Yep. right? And then if I wanted to, I can then save, I could save this as a preset. Okay. So next time, but I'm not going to do this. But the point is, is that when I spit this out now, it's it's going to it's going to spit out a QuickTime movie of my 30 video and yeah, my 30, and 30 audio. audio. And then and I the go back. Video. That's right. And then I'll maybe, then I'll go back and do the same thing with, with the 60. With my 60. Um, so, Very cool. So really, it's a, it's, it's a way of using roles to create different versions of an edit. You like it, don't I like you? It. I do. I do very much. It's very interesting. I like the idea of being able to see both of them in context of each other and not needing to flip between two timelines. Yes. And there's keyboard shortcuts. It's easy to do, but to see them both and be able to grab a clip and move them up or down, very cool. Very awesome. interesting. Nice. Glad you liked it because yeah. that, that's exactly how I work very to create cool. those PSAs. There you go. I hope Thanks. you guys like that. I liked it. Very cool. RippleTraining.com. It's what we do. Uh, Twitter. Facebook, hit us up. We got lots of free content. We got great tutorials on our website, plugins, everything. So thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.